On December 11, President Donald Trump issued an executive order to designate December 24, 2020, Christmas Eve, as a federal holiday, per the White House. Trump has issued similar orders in previous years, per USA Today. December 25, Christmas Day, is already a federal holiday. Recently, a few users took to Facebook to post a quote on the subject of Christmas that they claim came from Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Why is Christmas held above Hamnica or Kwanzaa? It's a long-standing grievous error to allow Christians some kind of festival of superiority that's forcibly pushed down the throats of others. This is not a Christian nation, the quote reads, misspelling Hanukkah. Along with the quote, a user added a caption that said, well, y'all voted for this, so, I don't want to hear nothing. She is shameful. The quote originated on America's Last Line of Defense, a website that published a November 21st article headlined, Kamala, Christmas Shouldn't Be a Federal Holiday. It contained the quote that was posted to Facebook. It also claimed that Harris believes, that keeping the celebration of Christ's birth as an official federally observed date is tantamount to a violation of separation of church and state, and contained the allegation that, Harris was born of satanic demons and raised in a household dominated by Scientology. The user who posted the quote to Facebook has not responded to requests from USA Today for comment. America's Last Line of Defense is a satirical publication that publishes fictitious articles, per its website. Everything on this website is fiction. It is not a lie and it is not fake news because it is not real. If you believe that it is real, you should have your head examined, the website reads. Any similarities between this site's pure fantasy and actual people, places, and events are purely coincidental and all images should be considered altered and satirical. The story about Harris was filed under the section, Silly Tater Satire. Christopher Blair, the creator of America's Last Line of Defense, told USA Today that its articles have, zero in common with reality. We follow one specific rule, and that is that the piece has to be ridiculous, he wrote in an emailed statement. This is not the first time posts on Facebook have falsely attributed anti-Christian quotes to Harris. In October, some users baselessly claimed she called churches, propaganda centers, per USA Today. In truth, Harris identifies as a Baptist, a denomination of Christianity, and attends services at the Third Baptist Church of San Francisco, per USA Today. Her father was a Christian and her mother was Hindu. Growing up, Harris attended services at both a Black Baptist Church and a Hindu temple. Her husband, Doug Emhoff, is Jewish. As a result, Harris celebrates both Christmas and Hanukkah. On December 10, Harris and Emhoff took to Twitter to mark the start of Hanukkah.